Hey there, Postal here. So today we're going to take a look at the Hurricane 1A. I just won this plane over the weekend. And so I wanted to compare it to the standard Hurricane 1. Uh, just in case anybody is looking to get this plane or might have won it, uh, what we can look forward to or not look forward to on this plane. So we're going to take a quick look at that and then we'll hop into some gameplay. All right, so what is the Hurricane A1? Well, in reality, it's basically a Hurricane 1 without the bombs. Um, you'll look here, it's showing as a fighter rather than a multi-role. Uh, they certainly look basically the same. Uh, this came with much paint on it, I guess, or did I put paint on it and not realize it? I don't even remember. Anyway, when we look at the stats, they've got the same 8 303 Browning machine guns. No difference there. You're missing the two bombs, which really come in handy on the Hurricane 1. You don't have uh, overwhelming firepower like you do on the Hurricane 2. Survivability is the same. Hit points is the same. Maneuverability is exactly the same across the board. Uh, no changes there. Altitude performance, there's one slight difference. The Hurricane 1, the standard tech tree multi-role fighter, has... It equaling more uh, rate of climb at 270 feet per second, whereas the Hurricane 1A has 266. Are you going to notice that? Probably not. Um, and the only other difference that I can tell on the paper here is, although you have the same airspeed rating, the Hurricane 1, your tech train multi-role fighter, has four less mile per hour cruise speed, but four, high, four higher mile per hour boost speed. Actually, six mile an hour higher boost speed. Um, but it averages out to the same airspeed. The fact of the matter is, when you look at the upgrades, the Hurricane 1A actually has the second from the top engine that the regular Hurricane would have. So if this Hurricane had the Merlin 3 engine, it would actually perform m worse than the Hurricane 1A uh, with the same engine. Odd. Maybe because the bombs are on it. I guess if I took the bombs off, you'd get more speed with this. Uh, you definitely would, right? So, but enough to make a difference? No. I mean, you get a little bit more cruise speed, four mile an hour cruise speed. And you get an additional six mile an hour to uh, boost speed. So the Merlin 29 is adding like a jogging pace worth of mile an hour compared to the Merlin 3. Uh, in my opinion, the bombs would be worth the overall mile per hour impact uh, as far as I'm concerned for my gameplay. Uh, but the big thing that a Hurricane 1A has going for it is it is a premium fighter. And so that means you can put any pilot you want in it. Right now I've only got a two point. Um, where's two point? <laughs> two point. Uh, pilot in my Hurricane 1, I can go ahead and put a, I don't even know how many pilots my Swift Pilot is, um, a 10 point pilot in here that now has aerobatics expert and now has Marksman 2 on it, things of that nature. And so we can get ourselves some additional cruise speed as we already did actually. We can get ourselves some additional maneuverability. Now we're down to 10.1 uh, turn time and that's even before we had equipment. Next biggest perk of having any premium is stock. You're going to be better off just because you can you have access to a lot more equipment. The Hurricane One uh, standard only has a, um, access right now to one equipment slot. The Hurricane One A has access to all three of them. Now, obviously, once you specialize the Hurricane One, your multi-role fighter will be able to access all the equipment slots but right out of the gate your premium plane can access more um this plane is not known for its airspeed or maneuverability really um what do we want to do upgraded engine or lightweight power unit and do we want to do polished skin which i've got plenty in the depot or lightweight wing frame which i don't so let's actually go with polished skin um 
which is going to further increase the... Yeah, let's just go with advanced. We're going to further increase the speed and the lightweight power unit, which is going to give us some more maneuverability, and we're going to balance it out that way. There we go, and that's actually helping cruise speed as well. So overall, because you've got that extra access to uh, equipment items, you're going to have the ability to buff up this particular plane to be better than a, a maximized but, but not yet specialized standard Hurricane 1. So let's apply all that shenanigans. And so now when we compare them, you're going to see that Yes, the Hurricane 1 multi-role fighter has better bombs, of course, because it actually has them, but has less airspeed and less maneuverability than a Hurricane 1A. Uh, that combines the equipment plus the pilot. I can throw in any pilot, right? So that's where you're going to have your, your, um, your better overall abilities in this plane. Once they're both specialized, I don't know if that's going to be um, as prevalent or not. And plus, we need to build up our Hurricane 1 pilot, uh, maybe eventually get it to a 10-point pilot. Will it put it back on even ground, but one having bombs? Uh, we'll have to test that out. Let's see how the Hurricane 1A, uh, you know, does in battle. All right, so we're on a nifty map here that I don't get to see all that often because I'm not typically playing Tier 4s. Let's see how this battle goes. Pilots, get ready for action. I guess we're in a Tier Let's 4 go. battle. Looks like we're not even going against any, like, Tier 4 people to really worry about. Um, so where this plane can excel is just mass firepower, right? We do have eight, ah, black, eight machine guns. Yeah, individually, a 303 on an airplane is not going to be the world's most impactful uh, type gun, but... Simply having that ability to put out that a volume of firepower is not a bad thing. I think I'm going to go over to this airbase that our team doesn't seem to want to capture. Who are you? I'm going to race you. Alright, let's see here. We've got some air defense aircraft we can knock out. They still haven't done anything here. I'm kind of glad that I'm coming this way. Kind of annoyed that I'm coming this way, but... Such is low-tier battles sometimes. Um, so I want to take out the air defense aircraft first. Simply because that'll leave the enemy aircraft still available to kill afterwards. I can be a greedy monkey. I actually got two planes over here. Heavy fighter inbounds. There we go. So now I can still kill this guy, hopefully. It's a P-43, so I should be able to outmaneuver him. If not, I can always hit the pneumatic control assist. Oh, this is the human, isn't it? Oh, okay. Take this stuff a little bit more seriously, Postal. I wish I had some extra boost, but I'll deal. He's just going in circles, so like I'll eventually catch up with him. If he's doing anything crazy, that's when you know I'd have to do some wiggling and some maneuvering. Wasn't in any super rush there. Looks like they're gonna get our garrison, strangely enough. How are they all the way down there? Bombers and ground attackers are going there. Weird. I wonder if said human uh, sent them there. Oh, is this not a human? What is a human? Okay. We got a P-35 as well, which is the less maneuverable of the two multi-rolls on that team. And we'll definitely need to watch out for fighters. So, this is where I'd love to ever just drop, drop, and move along. I um, mean, I'm not... I, I'm basically a multi-roll. Right? I've got multi-roll, like reasonably good maneuverability for a multi-roll, but not really all that good for a um, 
Not all that good for a fighter, to be honest. See what we can do here. I don't want to use too much of my boost. Get eight seconds of boost, which you know shouldn't be too bad, all things considered. I haven't compared it to tier four fighters. I think tier four fighters typically get like six seconds of boost. Two seconds is not a huge jump, though. It's not like the F6U where you've got like six seconds more boost compared to the other fighters at your tier. Uh, I think he's pulling away from me, so let's move along. So I gotta keep thinking. It's a weird kind of um, weird kind of spot that this plane's in, because you really are a multi-role fighter, but because you're a light fighter, like, your personal aircraft type missions are all... Ow. Uh, fighter based. Typically in a hurricane, I would try to go capture additional sectors and things of that nature, but... In a fighter, I'm not going to get the same kind of impact out of that. Just floating through space here. Keep moving along. Set that guy on fire. 303s are good at that, that's for sure. It does kind of remind me of playing a P-36, the American Tier 4 uh, fighter. Like, you know, you don't have good maneuverability for a fighter, but you've got a lot of machine guns. Sounds like a P-36 to me. Ah! Again. There we go. Ooh, P-35. Is he paying attention to me? We are at tier four. We're paying attention is OP. He is paying attention to me. Wow, that is OP. He's turning around. Nice. Got a heavy fighter inbound. It's way up there, though, luckily. Um, shall we push the... I think we're going to get that no matter what. I'm thinking. So let's push their garrison really quick here. Um, we've got a friendly on our team. Oh, there he is. Or she. I mean, hey, who, whatever. Leopard thong print, whatever floats your boat. Leopard thong print? That's backwards. Wouldn't it be leopard print thong? I mean, who am I to say anything? Uh, there's Davy, Davi. He is headed my way, I think. He's, uh, spotted me. He's we definitely inbound on me. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. Oh, heavy fighter inbound too. With all that, uh, with all those guns, I start firing early because they're not going to overheat, and these kind of weapons are more of a quantity over quality kind of thing. Air supremacy achieved. So yeah, use the quantity. Start pre-firing a little bit early. I get an ace, really. I mean, it's tier four, so. Who am I to make that seem like it's a good thing? Uh, got a Marseille, of course, because we got an ace. An ace with, with less than 14,000 personal points. Sounds about right for tier four, I guess. Um, <laughs> let's head on back. All right, so we got exactly 20 kills there. Um, but to be honest, I, don't, I didn't do anything special. Um, 
and I know for a fact I didn't do anything that couldn't be done in a Hurricane 1, right? The thing that's going to separate this plane from that plane is that I can put my Swift Pilot in there. I've got all the equipment right out of the gate. Or, yeah, actually all the equipment. I'm only missing one consumable item, um, which will definitely be um, the engine cooling for sure. And so in a stock configuration, the Hurricane 1A is going to be the better of the two just because you've got so much geared towards this plane uh, after you purchase it. Once it's specialized, once the Hurricane 1 is specialized, it's going to be on a relatively even um, even footing. The pilot's going to be worse just because I'm not going to have a 10-point pilot in my Hurricane 1. But I'll have bombs. I'll be able to flip sectors a little bit easier. And you know, all that maneuverability and speed is going to be right on par with this particular plane. Uh, yeah, this plane does get some decent, you know, decent buff on the, the um, credits earned. I do have a premium account going right now, thanks to a lot of the days that I won in the 24-year uh, anniversary. But even without a premium account, this would have been 72,000 credits. Um, and I can't, you know, a regular hurricane is certainly not going to make that kind of bank. And so right now, yeah, totally, totally, you know, enjoyable plane even. Um, just don't expect like you're going to get anything remarkably different than a regular hurricane. You are playing tier four. So keep in mind, yeah, tier four battle, you're certainly going to have uh, games like this and opportunities like this. But you get stuck into a tier five battle and, you know, the bots are going to be more difficult. That's the, the next threshold for the bots. Um, you've got period one for tier four and below, period two for tier five and above. If you're in that tier five battle, you're getting period two bots. Um, not just air defense aircraft, but, but enemy bots as well. On top of that, a lot of people play tier five and tier six. And they, you know, so you're going to run into a lot of specialized planes. You're going to run into a lot of people that have played hundreds of hours in their P-38F, right? Um, or their SE-100, things like that. So this was very fortunate matchmaking. It, it's representative of what this plane can do when everything's lined up properly. It is not going to be the same kind of thing when you run into tier fives um, who are levels above you. And so definitely keep that in mind. Uh, you don't want there to be any kind of, um, I don't want to set any kind of false expectations um, in, in that kind of regard. So yeah, tier four. It's tier four premium. It's okay. It'll do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll keep posting them if you keep watching them. Uh, and, and I will be um, streaming Tuesday and Friday and Saturday this week. So hopefully I'll be able to see you guys then. And I hope you have a great, uh, great day and a great week. Bye.